engines up and burning. Two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. Roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads-down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. Atlantis already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72% beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. All three liquid fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid, solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant. Coming up on uh, one minute, 45 seconds. Standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. On the flight deck of Atlantis, uh, Commander Brent Jett, far left, Mission Specialist Dan Burbank uh, on the right, and uh, Mission Specialist Joe Tanner in the center. Coming out of the uh, recent rendezvous maneuver, the rendezvous burn uh, uh, of Atlantis as it continues to uh, refine its orbit in relation to that of the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston with a live view from the camera on the shuttle robotic arm during the survey, looking at uh, the starboard side of Atlantis. The jets of the uh, on the nose for the 